That dinosaur just gave live birth. Did you see that? <laughs> All right, we're just getting started here at the Penrith Reptile Expo. The nice thing about the expo, I like the expos like this that aren't too big. It means I'll get a good chance to show you guys most of the stuff that's here. And this is Colin South, ladies and gentlemen. He is the guy that is responsible for us getting over here on this trip. So this is the man we have to thank for the show, getting us out of this. None of this would have happened without this man right here. So, Mate, you guys are so awesome for coming out for us. That's Thanks. just unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked that you had us out, man. It's been a trip of a lifetime so far, so. Well, we still, still got a little bit to do. But yeah, 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 we're gonna be heading, after this show, we're gonna be heading north, doing a little trip with Colin, and we're gonna check out a lot of other cool stuff. We're not yeah, done here. Yeah, along the coast of New South Wales, so a little bit different than what you've been yeah. doing we're for the last We're only days. halfway through the show <laughs> so far, so halfway yeah. through the trip. This show is like the halfway mark. We got a lot more to show you guys here. So it's your first time here, right? Eh? First time, first time here, man. Enjoying yourself? Oh, yeah. Look who we ran into, folks, Mr. Peter Birch. <laughs> I met Pete for the first time at the Pomona show in California, so it's not now it's nice to be on your side of the world. Yeah, welcome. Let's check things out. You guys need to go check out Pete's channel if you haven't already. I'll put a link down in the description. Pete's the top guy, man. He's an awesome gentleman, and uh, he's got lots of good stuff to show you on his channel, so you should go check it out. Thanks, man. Crack yeah, uh, it's a, um, a male platinum from Tim, a uh, Peter Birch. Flogging, <laughs> and uh, I put it over blind from Snake Ranch, and this is one of the best we got out of it. I kept the other three. It kind of reminds me of a, a caramel burm almost, yeah. except it's not going to get quite as big. Well, we, T plus caramel, same thing. Oh, we, sure, sure. So that's what we, you know, we just use the T plus. I like the, the green eyes contrast against the kind of orange pigment of the skin. It's pretty cool. How's it go taking a photo off the phone? See that everyone's got the caramel colour coming through on the head. That's pretty much the only giveaway I have. It's got the caramel gene, not just the hypo gene. So this is a, a coastal bread alive. It's 87.5% uh, bread alive. The other 25% is the coastal. They're from WA, Western Australia. It's a tri colour skimmy, yeah. We bought the parents, we produced the babies. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's the parent to these babies here. Yeah, they take a while to colour up, probably 12 months. Yeah, so they don't colour up for about 12 months. They've been from the wheat belt area, I'd say, don't you? Yeah. In WA. So we can buy from WA, but we can't, we can't send any snakes over to WA because they want to keep the diseases, you know, disease free and pristine. Yeah, so this is a... Uh from a line of silver pepper Murray Darlings I produced uh, was back in 07 now, so quite a number of years ago. Uh, this is a cross actually from the silver pepper gene with an albino. So this is actually a poshet albino silver pepper. The difference with this one is the amazing striping that it's actually got. So it's got a lot more striping than what the, the pepper's pure Murray Darling mutation, which I produced, yeah, back in 07 like I said. Uh, it took a while to prove the gene out. I had a few dramas with the clutch and everything, um, with the babies not feeding and everything like that, but yeah, eventually proved them out. So similar to the Albino Darwins, pure pure uh, Darwin carpet, the silver pepper is a pure Murray Darling mutation. So it's one of the only, one of the few pure mutations in the Morelia um, besides the Albino. I know a lot of snakes and... You know all the snakes? Almost. Almost all the snakes? My favorite is a king cobra. Silver albino silver pepper. So the, the, this is a world first. So. Yeah, some of our Morelli guys are gonna be drooling over this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've told them, like, you know. G'day, uh, Brent Smith from KHP Reptiles. Um, this little male um, is one of the very few albino grenos that I've made. Uh, lucky enough to buy some double head uh, granite albino stuff six, seven years ago and uh, made the first ones two years ago and made some last year and this one from this season, so third year making these. But um, quite a hard animal to hit, one in 16 odds from, from uh, double head to double head. But just a beautiful animal, you know, even as a, as a hatchy, it's hard to pick up that, that patterning, that really fine exploded pattern of the granite. But certainly by the time they become yearlings and uh, as adults, spectacular animals. Like, certainly my favourite. Um, so 
something I wanted to work with from years ago and happy to have them now. What do you want? Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah? What do you know? I know that red belly rat snakes are so cool. Red belly rat is cool, so cool? Yeah. Yeah? Can you tell me anything else about them? That they have a red belly. What's up with your sister? She's saying hi? <laughs> so I just found out that there's actually a whole other side to this festival. Festival. Feels like a festival. The, there's a second side of the show on the other side of that wall where there's more like a brick and mortar type pet stores that have their booths set up. But Australia has a much stricter uh, reptile laws here than, than we have in the States. Of course, ours is very state to state. but. Um, they, they definitely have, it seems, more regulations over here than we have over in the U.S. And there's more specific type of rules. And that's one of the reasons that there's a separate side of the show over there with the brick and mortar shops. And even over here, uh, people aren't necessarily allowed to have too much advertisement of their business. They're just kind of a name on their table. Uh, interesting, but I'm, I'm hoping we can make it over that other side too. Well, uh, we'll, we'll definitely make it over the side, but we'll see how much time we get. My name's Kelly. I'm from Hawkesbury Reptiles. These are some of my favorite um, children's pythons there. T plus, but they have a bit of black on them, so they're a paradox T plus. Um, really calm snakes, and uh, the parents are het T plus, so they only have a small amount of uh, paradox babies every year, probably three. Um, unfortunately, if you breed paradox and paradox together, you only get T plus without the black. So it seems that the uh, mode of inheritance, uh, we're not sure, and um, at the moment, hets, het to het is the only way that we can actually get these. So I'll, in the future, I have to um, keep some of the heads and breed them back. Yeah. So there you go. They're really pretty. Declan here has just let me know that next door, that other spot that I was just telling you about, they actually have some species from the States. All right, so I had to come all the way to Australia to hold the biggest iguana I've ever held in my entire life. I would have thought I'd be able to do that in the US, but nope, Australia has the largest iguana I've ever touched in my entire life. There it is. <laughs> I'll plug, I'll plug my channel as well if you want. Yeah, please. Yeah, Down Under Herbs. So I'm Cam from Down Under Herbs, followed by a friend of mine who also does goanna training and monitor training, uh, Dragon Training Mobile Zoo, and we're trying to push that you can actually tame down large goannas, and you can do a lot more work than what everyone says that you actually can, and you can actually tame them down to become puppy dogs, where a lot of people will tell you otherwise, but like you're about to see in a minute, guys, of one of our largest uh, species of goanna here in Australia, it's a 1.7 meter parenti, weighing at seven, 17 kilos, whatever that is in American. It's and, like um, 34 pounds. There plus. we go, so it's 34 pounds. So it's a big monitor, and we're actually about to show you that this thing can handle like a puppy dog. So, thanks guys. Check this out guys, I mean we didn't get to see one in the wild, but I, I think this is a pretty good size. I'm pretty sure that if we found a parenti in the wild, we wouldn't be doing this with it, and not a chance in the world. This just kind of goes to show like if you work with the animals and you spend time with them, and uh, let them know that there's no reason to be afraid of a human, then they can get to be like this. And this, this is true of just about any reptile I've ever come across. It, it doesn't matter what the species is, if you work with them long enough, then you can get an animal just like this that you can hang out with and enjoy its company, not not be afraid of each other. Yeah, get those claws. And where if it's the, t the uh, screen is touch screen as well, so if there's something you want to focus on, you can just touch it on the screen and it'll focus right on that. This right here is worth 10 times the price of admission, folks. So how long have you guys been working with this guy? I've uh, had this one since it was about a month old, so it's about this big. And it's uh, five and a half years old now. Gotcha, gotcha. Do make better one here than some of the other ones. Some of the other guys had to go and they just wouldn't stay still. Yeah. Alright, folks, the largest monitor on the continent of Australia. Continent, country. You guys are like the only place in the world that's a continent and a country. I mean, I can snuggle with this guy all day. Yeah. Just walk around the show. He's like, it's my new friend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Joe, the amazing camera woman. <laughs> 
Hi, Joanne Payne. Um, I'm the president of the Illawarra Reptile Society and we're here today at um, Hawkesbury Reptile Show. And this is the diamond python that I bought today. So, it's pretty cool. Boy, girl. Boy, male. Pretty nice. Can't go past a good diamond. So my man just got a blue tree snake here. Unfortunately, we can't get it out of the tub because it is rear fang venomous and if somebody happens to be allergic to bees in the area, that's the reason that we have to keep it inside the tub at the show. But hopefully you guys are getting a nice view of it right through the tub. It's got some nice color on it. We got Filipinos in Australia. Yay! Can you believe that? Found my people. Found <laughs> my people, yeah. He's my people. <laughs> this is my buddy Ben. He's a little taller than me, so it's, I, I can't do this interview too. Oh, there he is. Thanks, Ben. There we go. He's got a channel called Pace Reptiles. I just did an interview with him over there. You guys should go check out his content, see, see what kind of stuff he's got going on here at a local Australian YouTube channel. I'll put the link down in the description so you guys can find it. Go check out Ben and see what he's got going on for me. I'd appreciate it. Go leave him a comment. Let him know that I sent you over so that he knows that some of you guys actually listen to me. Please? Please? Thanks. <laughs> This little guy, we think it's a chimera. He's from Double Head, T Plus Marble parents, sibling parents. We've got multiples in a clutch, I think it was six in one clutch, um, and, and twins. So um, that's pretty astronomical odds from chimeras. We hope that there's something more to it, but who you knows? We'll see, try and breed them together when they're a bit older. So the range from this guy to this guy. Down to the, this is the, the least patterned one of them. Black headed python, it's um, from the calico background, so as it gets older, it may change colours. You can start to see the features and that coming through underneath. So hopefully, all the rest of the blacks and everything will drain down and it'll be a nice, really nice, bright snake. Uh, it's about uh, five and a half years old now. And yeah, we got her up for sale because we got way too many <laughs> blankets. Jared Sharp, we've got a Paradox here. He's from a Caramel Head Albino to a Jar Caramel Jag Head Albino. He's a few years old now, he's a very pretty unique animal and haven't really seen anything else like him. He's pretty sure he's a Sun Glow Paradox to move. We've got a Murray Darling Silver Pepper, which is a recessive pattern mutation. Uh, a crocodile, but I think that it's worthwhile. Because if you look closer, you smile for sure. You're looking at a dinosaur, everybody roll! <laughs> All right, folks, so the show is closing down a little bit. I gotta say, it's been a, a great show. The people have been absolutely lovely. The animals were really cool to see. Um, that last man there, Steve, singing songs to the kids doing his reptile show, uh, Walk About Reptiles. He does an educational program and includes music into the, into the uh, program as well. I'm thinking I might have to start doing something like that because that was really cool. I talked to him about it and he said it would be all right if I did. And uh, yeah, it's been a great show, guys. Uh, the trip's not over yet, though. We're gonna be going up north from here, as I mentioned before. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the coverage of the show. Um, thank you, Australia. Thank you, Hawkesbury Herb Society, for having us out here. It's been a great time. And uh, man, I hope that we can come back sometime soon because this was definitely one of the nicer shows I've attended. And uh, it's just been a great time, man. I, I I don't know what else to really say about it. It's been it's been absolutely fantastic, and I'm really stoked about how uh, hospitable the Australian people have been and uh, we love you all. Thank you guys for watching. See you all on the next video. Bye! Right, so this is the number one most venomous snake in the world. He's uh, far more venomous than, than cobras, rattlesnakes, anything you name it.